So let's complete this table. Here, the base SI unit that we are using is different. It's not grams, but this time it's liters. But that's okay. As long as we have memorized the meanings of our prefixes, we can solve this. So we have one NL. You should know that N stands for nano. One nanoliter is equal to how many liters? We get the answer from the meaning of nanoliter. If we have one nanoliter and the one is in front of the prefix unit, then the number of liters or base units that it's equal to is the meaning of nano. One nanoliter is equal to 10 to the minus nine liters. One blank liter is equal to 10 to the minus one liters. Deci has the meaning 10 to the minus one. One blank liter is equal to 10 to the six liters. That would be a mega liter because the meaning mega is 10 to the six. A mega liter is much larger than a liter, which is why the number of liters is really big. If I have one megaliter, I have many, many liters. I have a million liters, as a matter of fact. However, on the, on the other hand, because a nanoliter is so much smaller than a liter, if I have one whole nanoliter, I have a very, 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 very tiny amount of liters. One milliliter is equal to how many liters? That would be the meaning of milli. 10 to the minus three.